Hello, I'm Jonathan Delbridge and thank you for watching this video where we're going to be looking at the beautiful Arietta by Grieg. Now this is a short tutorial video where I will give a bit of background on the work and give you some idea of how to go about learning it. If you enjoy this video and you want to study this work in greater detail then please do check out my Patreon page and the link is below. For, on there for just £5 a month you can subscribe and you'll be able to access this full video tutorial but there's loads of other video tutorials on there, lots of articles all about different aspects of piano playing. I'm sure you'll find that really useful. Not only that but you can have a say in what I post in future videos and articles as well. So the Arietta by Grieg is a beautiful piece of music. It's ideal for pianists of an advanced standard and of course above. It's been set for grade five before. And it works on lots of aspects of piano technique from shaping the melody to balancing a melody and accompaniment, using the pedaling appro pedal appropriately and use of rubato as well. Now, if we think about the texture of the music, at the top we have the melody. And I'll start by learning that, thinking carefully about the shaping of every phrase. Imagine it as a song. Breathe. Singing while you play is a great way of getting that shaping and expression in there. And you could play the second phrase if you wanted to with a little more intensity than the first. Now the second thing in the texture is the bass, and we've got these sustained bass notes. And it's really important we hold those for the full length of the time. Because in the second bar, the harmonies change and we will need to change the pedal. If we're holding that bass note, that will be fine. But if we release it, then the bass will be lost when we change the pedal. So you can now play the melody with the bass. Now we have the semiquavers forming the accompaniment in the middle. And while these are still important, they want to be softer in volume than everything else. They're there to support the melody and the bass. So I practice these by themselves. Play it as written in your music, which is playing the first two semiquavers in the left hand and the second two in the right. Hopefully here that I'm playing those softer, but I'm allowing a little crescendo and diminuendo so it supports the melody. One thing to be careful of is releasing the notes. I have seen pianists do this. And often that's because the hands or the arms are tensing and they're pushing into the keys. Just allow the notes to release. And then the arms will be more relaxed. And of course the pedal underneath will sustain that. So when we put that all together, we need to listen for balance. Is my melody singing out? Is the bass supporting it? And is that E flat sounding throughout those two bars? And then are the semiquavers in the middle softer, but still supporting and adding the necessary warmth to the texture? If you find it's difficult to keep those semiquavers softer, then I'll just finish by showing you a little technique to practice that, which I call ghost playing. What I'm going to do is play the bass and the melody, and then in the middle part, I'm going to touch the key surfaces, but not actually sound the notes. This is quite tricky. Takes a bit of practice. Worth pressing.
persevering with, even if you just do it on a couple of bars, you'll build up that technique. You can then allow those notes to sound very quiet in the middle, but don't worry too much if some of them don't sound. And now I'll give you just a little more support to the middle part. And by just gradually building the volume on the middle part, I can achieve the balance that I want. So I hope that's been useful. In the full video tutorial, we go through the whole piece in detail, um, talking about how to shape the phrase and bring out all the different details that the Greek has marked onto the music. So I'm sure you'll find that really useful. But also, as I said before, there are so many other video tutorials on there, just looking at all different kinds of music and aspects of piano technique. So please do check out the Patreon page. The link is below. Subscribe on there. And thank you very much for watching.